Yo, Snapchat, I was supposed to do this story maybe a week ago. Um, so let's talk about growing biological neural nets. It's a really trippy story. Let's go. So last week I saw a talk by this guy, Guy Ben-Ari. Um, he's kind of like a half scientist, half art performance guy, <laughs> I guess. He's done lots of crazy pro. But yeah, go to his website and check out what he's done. Um, so let's talk about Cell F. Okay, prepare yourself, this gets a little intense. <laughs> This is such a crazy... The, the, the stuff this guy has done is just, like, so bizarre. But it has implications for the future and what you can do next. So this is guy, he took a, um, basically, like, a tissue sample from his arm. And he did some tissue culture to grow those cells out. Through a scientific process called magic, he actually turned those into stem cells. He then turned those stem cells into neurons. So these are... This is a time-lapse of his neurons growing in a Petri dish. And this is so alien and awesome. Here's some even more tasty neural growth. How cool is that? I just want a projection of this somewhere on my wall. <laughs> and he basically threw those neurons into a petri dish with a array of electrodes. So I think there's about 60 electrodes here. Oh yeah, I should say there's a whole bunch of other people involved in this project. It wasn't just Guy. A... So then each of those uh, electrodes you saw in that petri dish uh, were linked up to like an analog uh, synthesizer. And then everything plugged into this beastly looking <laughs> speaker box thing. So you can see speaker box thing, petri dish with neurons connected up to a neural interface, which is connected to a synthesizer, and then someone plays it music. So this is an artificial brain created from his own cells that is hooked up to um, a synthesizer so that when you play music to it, it actually responds. So you can have jam sessions with this artificial brain. Wow. Okay, cool. What do you reckon it sounds like? So my first instinct for some reason was that, oh, I'd be playing like perfect, perfect melodic music and having a real jam session. Not, not really. I don't know why I was thinking. So yeah, it's super scratchy and stuff, yeah, but um, that's what, what, what was I expecting? So it's only about 100,000 neurons on a chip with 60 electrodes. Apparently the new electrode being created that has 25,000. But the cool thing is that you can actually, like, there's a, there's a clear feedback loop. When the, when the musician plays in, you can actually hear it responding in a certain way. And something else he also does in the performances is he'll pour a little bit of dopamine into the Petri dish, hoping it plays happier music. <laughs> so I wonder what other drugs you can kind of add in there and see how it plays a bit differently. Since it's a proper like biological neural net, it's actually learning uh, given every performance. So that's kind of what they're testing now. They're doing three different performances in Sydney um, with three different types of music and seeing if it changes each time. And so the potential use cases for things like this is using biological neural nets to actually help train um, artificial neural nets because they might see something that the artificial neural nets can't see. Oh, and he had this other project where he basically took, uh, he bought a bunch of foreskins. Apparently you can buy foreskins online. Turn them into stem cells and turn those stem cells into neurons. He called it Project Dickhead. He had to rename the project to Impotentia, but then he housed this, this neural net <laughs> made of dicks <laughs> in this epic trippy art piece. Snappy thoughts. Okay.